me out, cousin. So I was having a casual Saturday morning drive when out of nowhere my will had began to have some problems. It just wouldn't speed up anymore. Luckily, I'd pulled in right in front of a twat internet cafe, and I thought a quick iFind search wouldn't hurt, and if that came up with nothing, then I'd easily be able to find the phone number for a mechanic. But then I saw something. A Liberty Tree article about some massive car life hack that was just discovered, and... Oh my god. No, no, this has to be some sort of silly April Fool's article, right? There's no way car manufacturers would just let something like this slip by. So I logged out, ran outside, connected the two wires, and... Oh my god, this was revolutionary. I was having the time of my life. I've never seen Liberty City from this high up before. I was zooming around all over the place without the worry of being able to pay for gas. I thought of all the things I could spend that money on. Hookers, weed, maybe even start a company that makes fursuits out of real fur. But then I received an unexpected phone call. What's up man, it's me. Let's hit the ball and out. Perfect. Packy's Irish. He's so used to slow tractors and awful beer that this will blow his mind and I'll earn all his respect. Time to give this car hack a real world test run. Shit. Piss. Fuck. Damn. Okay, we made it. Look at him. He's so excited he's shaking in anticipation. I know Packy, I know. My Willard is top tier. He missed the whole fucking Okay, so the first challenge is actually getting to the bowling alley. As great as this honk boost thing is, you don't really get much control over direction, speed, or when you stop. You just kind of have to get lucky with the angle and direction the car is facing if you have a specific area in mind. For example, the car clearly wanted to go to the memory lanes in Algonquin instead of the one in Broker, and I have no choice but to follow its orders. After three in-game hours of flying around like a literal tit, Packy and I finally made it to the bowling alley and played for a while. In the end, I won by almost 100 points, but we had a great time. Nothing like a night out with one of the boys. We went outside and intended on going back to Packy's mum's place to drop him off, but... No. My Willard... All that flying and hitting things has made it physically impossible to climb into. So we stole this random girl's car instead and tried to make our way back home. After a while, we finally made it home. Packy went inside to get some track, sleep, man. and I was left get alone. Around. Loneliness. It's kind of nice, isn't it? After weeks of constant interaction with cousin Roman and friend Packy and all the others, some time alone is all that's needed. Now I think about it, I've never wandered outside of the city. I wonder what's out there. That big, vast void beyond the skyscrapers and apartment buildings. Maybe it'd be fun to explore the unknown and find out.